Today on Fast Friday, we will be talking about the most important of the top three dials on your Fujifilm camera, the shutter dial. Hi everyone, welcome to Palta Tech. I would say that the most important dial on your camera is the shutter speed dial. Now, while aperture and ISO can certainly affect the quality of your image, if you end up screwing up something with either of those two dials, there's a lot of correction that you can do in post-production to fix things up. However, if you have the wrong shutter speed, you can end up with a photograph that's completely blurry and unusable. Now, the shutter speed dial on your Fujifilm camera actually serves three functions. Selection of the shutter speed, automatic mode, and what I call Mr. T. The first function is that it allows you to dial in the exact specific shutter speed you want to use when you take your photo. Simply turn the dial to the desired shutter speed and you're all set. Now using just the numbers on the physical shutter dial itself, you can set shutter speeds ranging from 1 8,000th of a second all the way down to one second. Now you'll notice that there is the letter B right here on the dial. That stands for bulb. And when you put it in B, your camera will keep the the shutter wide open however long you are holding down the shutter button for up to one hour. So if you're going to use the bulb feature often, then you might want to get a shutter release cable so as to avoid camera shake and having to stand with your finger pressing down on the button the entire time. Something else you need to know about the B function is that if you have your camera in B, but you have your aperture set to A for automatic, the longest you're going to be able to use B and and keep the shutter open is for 30 seconds. So watch, I'll put my shutter dial in B right now, just like that. Now it will stay in bulb mode and allow me to press and hold down and keep the shutter open as long as my finger is on this button for up to one hour, as long as I have my aperture ring set to a fixed value. But watch what happens when I put my aperture ring in automatic. You see that? It jumped from bulb to 30 seconds. Now, as soon as you take the aperture ring out of automatic mode, then you can use the bulb feature normally. Also, if you're gonna be shooting long exposures in bulb mode, then you should make sure that you're choosing a correct ISO value and not relying on auto ISO. Lastly, you may notice an X next to the 250th shutter speed. For those of you who don't know, this means that 1 250th of a second is the maximum flash sync speed of the camera. Now, if you don't know what this means and you want a video all about flash sync speed, let me know in the comments. I just have to say, it is actually really hard teaching, <laughs> okay, because some of you out there are just starting out in photography and you're at the very basic level, right? Like kindergarten, right? And then some of you are college graduate level. And so I don't want to bore those of you who know these topics already. And I also don't want to, you know, lose the people who are kind of starting starting out. It's, that's the biggest challenge of doing YouTube, to be perfectly honest with you, with education, that is the hardest part. Anyway, back to the shutter dial thing. The second function of the shutter speed dial is that you can set the dial in A for automatic and essentially hand over control of the shutter speed to the camera. Now, I almost never do that unless I'm in some seriously bright light because I never want to worry about getting too slow of a shutter speed. And lastly, the third, but often misunderstood function of the shutter speed dial is the Mr. T function. According to Fujifilm, T stands for time. It's a weird name to call it, so I'm gonna call it Mr. T which is an even stranger name to call it. Anyway, here's what it does. When you have your shutter dial set to Mr. T, it basically hands off control of the shutter speed dial to the rear command dial. So once you have it in T, you can then rotate the rear command dial, have a look at this, see that? and control the shutter speed from the rear command dial, right? Secondly, when you're in Mr. T mode and controlling the shutter speed through the rear command dial, you are now allowed to choose more options for your shutter speed. For example, the dial itself only goes as far as one second. However, with the dial set to T now and using the rear command dial, you can choose a shutter speed ranging from one eight thousandth of a second all the way down to 15 minutes 
fits with the mechanical shutter. But wait, there's more. If you use the electronic shutter in conjunction with the T mode and the rear command dial, you can go all the way up to 1 32,000th of a second. Whoa, that's fast. But there's even more in Mr. T mode. You can rotate the command dial when you have the shutter dial set to any value and it will adjust your shutter speed in one third stop increments. So if you look at the top of the dial, I'm going from one five hundredth of a second, dink, to one one thousandth of a second. But if I have it set to say one five hundredth of a second, right? Now, if I rotate the rear command dial, look, it goes to 640 and then it goes to 800. So you can get one third stop increments. And lastly, you don't actually have to use the rear command dial to control shutter speed in T mode. You can also assign it to the front command dial instead. Here's how you do that. Just press and hold down the front command dial, just like this, until you see this screen appear. Then you can move the D-pad selector just like this. You see that to select? So the first three options control the front command dial and the last option controls the rear command dial. So here, the rear command dial has shutter speed assigned to it. I'm gonna go ahead and change the top one right here. And I'm gonna change it to shutter speed program shift. Boom. Now, if I put the shutter speed dial into T at the top and I rotate the front command dial, look, it's changing it just like that. See that? And it's also changing it on the back because I also have it assigned to that. So I get dual action shutter speed changing. Yes, I'm just a ninja at this. Okay, that's enough of shutter speed. I'm gonna tell you about what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I am working on a studio tour. I'm still feeling weird about doing a studio tour. There's something kind of, you know, look at my studio. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I'm going to do one because I simply get a lot of requests for it. And, you know, OK, I'll do a studio tour. The second thing I'm going to be working on is a live stream. I've had some people ask about that. I want to do a live stream. I miss live streams. Now, I tried it earlier. I tried it, I don't know, a few months ago, and I did a couple of them, and the audio was constantly out of sync. There were audio sync problems. There were bandwidth problems. There were just issues that I, I, I started it before I was really ready to do it, and it kind of looked like a bad kung fu movie. So I'm going to be doing it again, but this time I want to make sure it's done right out the gate. So I'm doing some tests, I'm practicing, but a live stream is coming. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. Remember that shutter speed is so important for those of you who aren't aware of that already. I am signing off now. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. So long.